नमस्ते एंड हेलो टू दंगिस्तान हाई किड्स आई एम के पी सर एंड दिस इज माई अटेम्प्ट टू मेक इकोनॉमिक्स सिंपलर फॉर वन एंड ऑल सो आई वेलकम यू टू कल्पेश गाइड टू इकोनॉमिक्स आई हैव प्लान अ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स फॉर ऑल दैप्टर्स एंड i will give an assurance that anybody who has any doubts can go to the particular lecture of a particular chapter and learn from there so let's start we are starting with the first chapter called as an introduction to micro and macro economics before we could go to the first chapter let's just go with a quick revision as we all know that the word economics comes from the greek word we have done this in standard 9th standard 10th and also in standard 11th it comes from a greek word called as oikonomia oikonomia means household management so let's start with economics and chapter 1 an introduction to micro and macroeconomics to talk in short about this chapter we are going to learn in detail about microeconomics about macroeconomics importance of micro importance of macro scope of micro scope of macro and not only that we are also going to learn about the type of economists मतलब वो लोग जो इकोनॉमिक्स लिखते हैं हम उनके टाइप्स को लर्न करेंगे सो ओवरऑल इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी गुड अ बेस सीमेंटिंग लेक्चर फॉर यू लेट्स कंटिन्यू वी गो विथ मॉडर्न इकोनॉमिक्स एंड मॉडर्न इकोनॉमिक्स टूडे इज डिवाइडेड ब्रॉडली इन टू टाइप्स वी ऑल नो इट्स माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स ऑन वन हैंड एंड माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स ऑन द अदर both micro and macro economics are derived from greek words i repeat both micro and macro economics are derived from greek words micro comes from the greek word called as micros and macro comes from a greek word called as makros so micro comes from micros and macro comes from makros micro micros macro macros micro means small or millionth part micro ka meaning hota hai bahut hi chhota hum individual bol sakte hain or the millionth part of the total and macro means large so this is very important micro macro coming from greek words micro from micros macro from macros micro means small or millionth part and macro means large before 1933 whenever anyone talked about economics kids economics was always microeconomics ji ha wo hamesha microeconomics hota tha iska matlab aisa situation jahan par resources was scarce and wants or demands always exceeded the resources they were never ending they were recurring they were unlimited but that was before 1933 professor ragnar fish first coined these terms as micro and macro i repeat it was professor ragnar fish who first coined this terms as microeconomics and macroeconomics this is a famous personality professor ragnar fisk he was a citizen of norway he was a norwegian and he belonged to oslo university now those who really want to know the story behind this micro and macro please wait and watch my dedicated video on the origin of macroeconomics it will soon be put for you 
Thank you. I consider myself lucky to explain you all this stuff. As I told you in the introduction that we are going to learn on types of economists. Jaise aapne sangeet dekha hoga, music. There's a classical music, right? Then there was a typical music of 80s called as disco. Then the 90s melodious music. And the current music is fantastic. Like it's a blend of so many things. Ke kahi par aapko rock, hip hop, jazz, sab milke sunaya jata hai. Usi tarah se economics ek evolutionary term hai. Aur woh evolution kafi vakt lag gaya. Yehi aapka historical view banta hai microeconomics ka. And economists can be divided into three. The classical economist the neoclassical economist and the modern economist. Kids, we are going to learn classical, neoclassical and modern. You can be asked a separate question for three marks or four marks on either of this branch. That means you can be asked for a short note on classical economist or a short note on neoclassical economist or at last a short note on modern economist. और अगर आपको ब्लेंड करके एक आठ मार्क का क्वेश्चन पूछा जा सकता है तो दैट विल बी राइट इन डिटेल टाइप्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिस्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वन बाय वन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद क्लासिकल इकोनॉमिस्ट फर्स्ट इन दिस द फर्स्ट नेम विच आई वुड लाइक टू टेक इज एडम स्मिथ माय डियर फ्रेंड्स एडम स्मिथ इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस फादर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स यस सो हियर इज एडम स्मिथ He is called as father of economics and he wrote a book in 1776. I repeat, in 1776 he wrote a book called as an enquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations. You can also write wealth of nations. There is no problem. Both are accepted by the teachers. The next person is Sir David Ricardo. Anybody who wants extra information on David Ricardo should please go and study about his theory of wages or theory of profit. It will engroove you into economics. The third is J.S. Mill. So let us put it into a small recap. Classical, classical economists are those economists, those who started writing on economics. Adam Smith. Sir David Ricardo and J.S. Mill. I repeat, Adam Smith, Sir David Ricardo and J.S. Mill. We go with now neoclassical economist. That's the second. And the most important person in neoclassical economist would be Alfred Marshall. There are many others. Let's go with the first one, Mrs. Joan Robinson, who belongs to UK. She is one of the female economists who has left her mark. Her name is Mrs. Joan Robinson. J.R. Hicks, Professor Samuelson, who actually gave economics a title called as Queen of Economics. Professor Samuelson is the one who defined economics as Queen of Economics and Professor A.C. Pigou. I told you the most important person to talk on neoclassical economics is Alfred Marshall. Here is Sir Alfred Marshall, you can see on the screen. He made microeconomics popular and this is one of the very important question regularly asked in boards. Who made microeconomics popular? It was Sir Alfred Marshall. He coined the concept of marginalism. A very important concept on which your entire microeconomics is based on, especially your law of diminishing marginal utility. It's very important. He devised the term or the concept of utils to measure utility. Again, it will be very important when we learn utility and related topics. In 1890, he wrote a book called as, yes, it was a principle of economics. In 1890, he wrote a book 
principle of economics. We talk about modern economists now. There are many to name in modern economics and the most important one is Karl Marx. Everybody remembers Karl Marx, right? His contribution into economics where he, where he divided the entire world into two, the haves and the have-nots and all that stuff. We have Walrus, we have Malthus, we have Wixel, we have Irving Fisher. How can we forget Irving Fisher and his contribution to the definition of national income? John Menard Keynes. He's called as the father of modern economics, my dear friends. Here's Sir John Menard Keynes. He's a founder of modern macroeconomics. He used the macroeconomics to analyze economic problems. In 1936, he wrote a book named as General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money. It is a fantastic book. And this gives you a short information about the three types of economists. The further session that is displayed onto your screen is questions based on this lecture. You have choose the correct options. Which economist is called as father of economics? The answer is highlighted for you, Adam Smith. Who made microeconomics famous? It was Alfred Marshall. Alfred Marshall developed the concept of its marginalism. And utils, the unit to measure utility was also developed by Alfred Marshall. Further, I have displayed a match the column for you. And it would be better that you yourself see to it. Let your brain work. The answer is already given in the form of identical color scheme. Fine. So identical color scheme I've used. You all can just get the benefit of this and try to answer it on your own. Here are some fill in the blanks. The word microeconomics comes from micros. The word macroeconomics comes from macros. Both microeconomics and macroeconomics are Greek words. Ragnar Frisk was a citizen of Norway. Ragnar Frisk was from Oslo University. The below given are the questions which you should practice. They are in front of you. Briefly explain the different types of economists for 4 marks or for 8 marks. Write short notes on Adam Smith, Alfred Marshall, J.M. Keynes and Ragnar Frisch respectively with a weightage of 2 marks each. I hope you like the video, my dear friends. Please like the video and please press the bell icon. Thank you.